ऑल राइट बिस्मिल्लाम अलैक्म स्टूडेंट्स लेट स्टार्ट विद द रिमेनिंग पार्ट ऑफ द नमेरिकल वी हैव डन नाइन डेट ट्वेंटी सिक्स एंड नाउ वी शैल प्रोसीड टू द बी पार्ट विच इज़ बेसिकली द नाइन डैश ट्वेंटी सेवन ऑफ द प्रॉब्लम सो दिस इज़ द प्रॉब्लम लुक नाउ यू नीड टू लोकेट द सेंट्रॉइड वाई बार ऑफ द एरिया इट इज़ द सेम प्रॉब्लम in the previous one we have calculated uh, located the centroid x bar of the area remember the question was to find the centroid of the area so i have told you whenever you need to find the centroid of the area it you have to basically mandatory uh, uh, basically calculate both the centroids because the centroid will, because it's a planar area with two uh, mathematical functions so you need to calculate not only uh, the x bar but uh, as i have told you you also need to calculate the y bar also remember uh, let uh, for the uh, you need to calculate uh, for the centroid for the centroid you need to calculate uh, x bar comma y bar remember this thing as i have told you before so one part x bar is calculated now we'll go for Uh, the other part of the numerical which is the y bar so how shall we proceed for this uh, thing uh, in the previous one like we've uh, in the problem that we have done uh, we had uh, taken the strip that was basically parallel to the x axis now you need to calculate y bar you can see we are basically uh, taking the vertical strip Uh, again it is totally up to you i have told you before the strip taking is basically up to you you can still take a, a strip a horizontal strip along the x axis and you can still calculate y bar but uh, it the calculations will be slightly more difficult the end result will be the same because the, as i told you the centroid is a constant of every uh, surface area so it doesn't matter if you take a horizontal strip or you take a vertical strip this is a very important point that you must take into account while solving these problems so if you look at this problem the the same function is there y square equals to x and uh, y is equals to x square this is the same problem so how shall we proceed with these problems and same logic apply we have taken uh, what if we have taken is basically a horizontal strip this is our horizontal strip which we have taken and uh, if you uh, uh, know that basically there will be three points on this strip and if you look at it uh, what will be uh, uh, basically when we say that there are points uh, on the strip it is what is called as uh, this is one point which is lying on curve one as told you this is the other point exactly at the mid curve two and a very important point exactly in the middle which is the uh, uh, till the midpoint of this uh, vertical strip whose coordinates are whose coordinates are again are going to be uh, basically uh, x tilde and y tilde these are the coordinates which is x tilde and the y tilde and if you look at it these are the uh, x tilde y tilde and uh, what will be the coordinates of this strip since this is curve 1 okay so it will be again the, and another very important thing when you because if you take the strip correctly you going to solve it calculation is very easy from here if i move this point this distance is x okay and this is curve one you can also call this distance as x1 this distance from uh, this point from the y axis is going to be x2 because this is you remember uh, this is curve 2 this is curve 2 x2 but x1 and x2 distances from the y axis is constant so what is happening we are taking it as x we are taking it as x because the distance is constant from the y axis very important point the other thing is that uh, uh, again this will be basically again this distance which is at the midpoint is also going to be x tilde but this x tilde is the same as x because the distance is constant from the y axis and uh, since this is curve one so it will be x comma uh, no y2 no not y2 it will be uh, a mistake by done by hebler it, it it has to be x comma y1 it will be x comma y1 and this will be x comma y2 it will be x comma y2 so you must remember this point uh, this will be 1 
and this will be 2 and this will be 2 they have told you this will be 2 so what will be the uh, what is the next step the next step is to calculate the area of the strip the area of the strip will be basically if you look at it they have already shown you what is going to be the area of this uh, strip over here uh, if you look at it uh, the area of the strip is uh, this point top point is y1 this bottom point is y2 what is the uh, width of the strip it is dx and what is the height of the strip the height of the strip is going to be y1 minus y2 y1 minus y2 so the area will be y1 minus y2 multiplied by dx because it is rectangular so uh, this is the height into the width so this is the area of the strip so uh, basically now we basically uh, calculate the, uh, the basically proceed further so if you look at it uh, so y1 this uh, remember the points uh, i told you this is our uh, this is uh, our curve 1 and uh, this is our curve 2 so all those points which will be lying over here will be basically uh, predicted as since uh, the curve 1 will be y1 equals to x uh, y1 is equals to uh, x square so what will be equals to y1 y1 will be equals to uh, under root of so y sorry the curve 1 is y square is equals to x so if we take uh, square root on both side uh, we will end up uh, with uh, y1 we will be end up with this y1 is equals to x equal to power 1 by 2 okay uh, so we, where was curve 1 this was our curve 1 okay, okay. so that is why they have written uh, y, y1 square is equals to x so it will be equals to y1 is equals to under root of x which is x to the power 1 by 2 and what is the other one this is y equals to x square so it will becomes y2 is equals to y2 is equals to x square it will become y2 is equals to x square uh, so now we have got these values of y1 and y2 in terms of x the area i have already told you is d is equals to y1 minus y2 times of dx so it will further be equal to in place of y1 i am going to put it x to the power 1 by 2 in place of y2 i am going to put the power x square okay y2 i am going to put uh, just to make it easy in place of this y2 y2 here i am going to put this value x square and its centroid will be given as what will be centroid will be given as uh, very simple you know uh, from the origin from the origin this distance is how much this distance is how much from here from here uh, from here to this point it will be it is mentioned y2 so when we take the centroid this is the uh, centroid of the strip and the coordinates of the centroid is y tilde this is y tilde x tilde we want y tilde so y tilde will be equals to y2 plus if you look at it plus y1 minus uh, y2 divided by the total uh, height as to get the center is basically 2 so y2 plus y plus y1 minus y2 upon 2 you take the lcm and uh, you will get this value y bar the centroid uh, will be equals to uh, half y1 uh, plus y2 equals to 1 by 2 x to the power and, and again if you take it over here is uh, is basically uh, uh, in place of y1 i am going to put what in place of y1 i am going to put x to the power uh, 1 by 2 which is here in place of y2 i am going to put it as x square so this is being done now we proceed to further uh, with these done what is the value of uh, so so we got the value of uh, y uh, basically we've got the value of uh, y tilde which is equals to y2 plus y1 minus y by 2 so now we, we got the value of the centroid y bar is equals to 
uh, integral of a y tilde into dA. Okay, but what is y tilde? y tilde is 1 by 2 x to the power 1 by 2 plus x square. Uh, what is dA? dA is equals to x to the power 1 by 2 minus x square times of dx. So, these values I have put it and since uh, this is dx, what is the limit of dx from the origin if you look at it from 0 to this point is 1 meter. Okay. So, we have put it here and then you divide it by integral of dA. Yeah, integral of dA is what and again the limits are, will be again from 0 to 1 and uh, dA is equals to x to the power 1 by 2 minus x square times of dx. So, uh, we have put it. Now, if you look at it, you, uh, you can do uh, different types of, you can either basically simplify your function, you have the right uh, to simplify your function and then integrate it is 1 by 2 is a constant, you can take it out of the uh, integral sign and if you look at it, this is x to the power 1 by 2 plus x square, x to the power 1 by 2 minus x square. So, you can make it a plus b into a minus b. So, if you want, uh, you can simplify it further and uh, basically you will get it. If you simplify it further, you can apply uh, uh, basically a square minus b square and put uh, this function. If you put this function into your calculator, into your calculator basically and you will get uh, and apply the limits from 0 to 1 you will get it the value in numerator is 9 and from the bottom 0 to 1 x to power minus 1 by 2 minus x square again put it as it is in your scientific calculator and ask the calculator to solve this uh, in, uh, in, uh, integration for you with the limit 0 to 1 denominator will come as 20. So, 9 divided by 2 will give us the value of uh, y bar. So, your respective uh, what is called as your respective y bar will be equals to 9 by 20 which is 0.45 meter okay which is 0.45 meter so if you look at it so what uh, uh, is basically the value comes out to be which means uh, that uh, if you look at it so somewhere somewhere if this is uh, 0 0.5 0 0.5 so uh, basically somewhere here in the midst, you, put, you, calcul you have calculated the value of x bar and then you calculate the y bar. So, somewhere here you will get the value of your uh, centroid in the here. See, x bar previous numerical and y bar which is 0 0.45, somewhere less than half because it is 1 meter max, so less than half it will be somewhere here, okay, along with the x bar calculated first. So, this is how you basically calculate uh, the areas for uh, uh, the, the, the basically the area for a mathematical function for mathematical uh, uh, this leave uh, basically leave area which is given to you with two mathematical functions y square equals to x and y is equals to x square. So, we finish this uh, numerical after the solution and uh, we can basically uh, proceed to the other one in the next we will go for how to calculate the volume of uh, three dimensional objects.